Hi friends, welcome to the channel. Mike here, I'm glad that you decided to stop by and see what crazy stuff I have going on. Uh, welcome back to the, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I thought I'd give it a try. And you can weigh in on what I should do, shouldn't do, or how I should have done it. I'll take your, I'll take your advice to heart. But in any case, if you tuned in, uh, it's been a video or so ago, we did a big implement purchase from a farmer that was calling it quits. And we got all kinds of uh, attachments. I ended up liquidating a lot of the items that I either had or wasn't planning on using. But one of the things I kept was this disc, the blue one here in the back. You probably uh, get several different angles of it as the video progresses. But in any case, there's a field up here on top and a while back we mowed around the uh, fence perimeter, but I told you there's a lot of rocks up here. And so there's not a lot that can be done for mowing because I'm afraid to hit these big rocks. So my thought process was bring a disc in. Can't rototill it, can't mow it. Bring a disc in and kind of start chopping at it and see what happens. Maybe I could put a food plot up here or just get it to the point where I locate all the rocks and can mow it. But anyway, that's what I'm up here today doing. Something I've never done before. Don't even know if I should be doing it. It's Halloween. Uh, good time of year, bad time of year. I've watched a few videos on it. There's kind of a mixed bag of advice with regard to this. So I'm not giving any. I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. In any case, uh, I have the disc on here. And my plan is to kind of go through this upper field that hasn't been touched for 20 years except by animals and see if I can't knock down, chop down, mess around with some of this brushy stuff and get it to the point where we can either put something in or make something manageable. So that's what the video is about today. I've already just got started on a couple rows here and I'm gonna give you lots of different uh, perspectives of what I'm trying to do. And then also you can uh, see what you think. And uh, like I said, I, I really don't know if, if it's going to work or make a difference but what the heck give it a shot right so thanks for stopping by i hope you enjoy it and here we go all right so this is the first run going up and down the hill with the disc it's kind of knocking the stuff down it's making some little i don't know what you call them entrails or whatever some of it's just popping right back up, but it does look like it's doing something. Definitely in comparison. I mean, you can see where I've been and where I haven't been. Over here, I did, I have located a couple of rocks already, some fairly good sized ones. There's one over here. Oh, well, here it is. This is what I'm talking about. Now this one's pretty obvious because you can see it, out, but there's a lot of them that are kind of middle of the road that you can't see. What I should have is my bucket on so I could be gathering these up but right now i'm just kind of piling them along the fence but you can see this is kind of what the field looks like and it's obviously sloping multiple directions so anyway that's it let's get this Down so I can find 
All right, friends. So you got to see some time lapse of me running up and down this field. So let me know what you think. Good idea, bad idea, who's to say? I don't know. It seems like it's an okay idea. I mean, it's cutting in. I can tell you that I hear a lot of scratching, a lot of rocks in there that I'm gonna have to dig out. I'm thinking about maybe getting some like property flags so I can flag some of them and then come back and, and dig them up. Some of them I can grab by hand and just move them over to a little pile, but I'm definitely gonna need to bring some hand tools or other items in order to uh, get those dug up. And I mean, am I ever gonna get them all? That's a question really, but uh, I wanted to try something up here to see if it's doable. Now the question is, sorry about the wind, now the question is, is it best to try to do across what I just did, or is it better to go back and do it again, the same thing, but maybe a little offset? Uh, should I have added some weight to the disc to make it better? Although, coming over the rocks, it's pretty screechy already, so I don't know if I want to be adding weight to it just yet, but I think I can. If, if I get a pile of flags, I can go, go when I hear a scratch, go back, try to flag some of these bigger rocks, and then go to the flags um, with a bucket or back or whatever and grab those rocks out so that might be a win who knows so let me know what you think i'm learning as we go All right, friends, so I think I'm going to call this a day. I have about two thirds of this upper field disked or plowed or chopped or, or I just drove around a lot right up in this area. But anyway, I'm gonna give that a shot and wait for some feedback from my trusty fans and subscribers and people that stop by and give constructive advice. And like I said, there's not a, an easy fix I don't think but I do know that if I ran a, a uh, brush hog through here or a rototiller I'm probably gonna break some stuff um, some pretty big rocks and so that's what I'm trying to avoid and at the same time get something productive going on up here and I hope you have a safe and healthy and uh, fun Halloween and I appreciate you stopping by take care and we will talk to you soon